Hello everybody and welcome to a re-listen to Mama Moo's Melting. Um, it's been a while since I've heard a Mama Moo album. I haven't really taken the time to listen to um, Mama Moo in a while only because um, I've been focusing on current K-pop right now so I haven't really been um, focusing on Mama Moo's albums. I know Mama Moo had the musical, but that's not really focusing on their albums. Um, but yeah, uh, basically, um, I got the Mama Moo Melting album. I'll put a link to the unboxing below. And, um, I'm really excited because I'm gonna listen to it, but this is gonna be the first time that I listen to it you know, off the album, like the actual CD. So, yeah. I don't think there's anything extra on the CD. I know, um, in, um, Hello, if you buy it with the CD, you get Peppermint Chocolate along with the other six tracks. Because I know digitally, it doesn't give you Peppermint Chocolate because Peppermint Chocolate was sold as a single digitally. So, um... I do know that in the Hello album, when I do buy it, there will be peppermint chocolate at the end. I'm pretty sure. And then I know that Love Lane is on the physical copy of the Piano Man album. But it's not on the digital copy. Um, I don't think there's any instrumentals here. I don't think there's any instrumentals for... Um, sorry, I'm trying to... Uh, I'm trying to um, set up everything. That I have to re I have to set up the CD again. But yeah, um, basically we are um, going to be listening to the Mama Moo Melting album right now, and the first track is obviously One Centimeter Taller Than You, which is um, a really interesting way to open up the album, in my opinion. Like, not a bad way, but just very interesting. Um, I'm trying to set up everything, so give me just one second. Okay, so here it is. It started playing. On, oh. Oh, okay, I didn't do that. Um... What I like about my computer is that, um, what I like about my computer before we get started is that it has all the tracks laid out for me, so if I want to skip, if I want to skip, um, a song, like, if I want to listen to this while, like, drawing digitally or something, which I am going to be doing on this computer soon, um, if I want to do, um, if I want to listen to a different track, a track I can just go back here, click on the different track, and then draw. So I really like that. Let's continue. Oh man, I forgot about how good this song was. Sweet. Yes, Solar. I hate having her as an ultimate bias because she slid my life. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. <laughs> My life. Yes, Moon Yo! Did he move that? Did you read out? Who did song? Uh huh. Did you get it? Did you get it? Tap you into Molly! Sorry. I have to scream. They always do it on stage. It's wonderful. No one that I get the call. No one that I get the call. Hey! 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 I'm sorry. It's very swag. I don't know why. Okay, so one centimeter taller than you just ended. Really good song. Really great song. It's not like amazing to me. 
But this next song, Words Don't Come Easy, is my favorite song off this album, and it's my third favorite Mama Moo song. It's so pretty. Okay, just just listen. Hang on. Ah! I love that microphone. Oh my god. It's been a while since I've heard this track though, so the voices. I'm gonna die. Dude, those honey vocals coming from Hasa though. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. This song does really well with Wayne's voice, though. Listen. Oh my god. Ah! I'm having musical performance flashbacks from the first and the second time they performed this at the musical. Ah! Why? Why would you do that to me? Ah! Grabbing your body, your body, ooty kitty. I don't know why they call this album Melting, because the vocals will melt your heart. Okay, they will. Honestly. Young, words don't come deep. To go watch him touch, words don't come deep. So they let him more target, so in him keem. Yes, Mumbio! The rap! She's such a good rapper. I love her rap. Oh my god. Yes, give some love to the piano. And then the saxophone. Ah, yes! Oh, I love this song. Oh. King, words don't come easy. Look at the telling, words don't come easy. The king, words don't come easy. And it just picks up pace. It's like, dance, dance. Ugh, I love it so much. I don't even know why. Ugh. Okay, so the song just ended with beautiful violins. And so now, we're going to do You're the Best, the title track, which is, I love this song. I don't know any Mumu who doesn't love this song. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. We are no so sexy, yo cho, it could chuck it on, no, I don't know. None out of bone or not. Hey, doggy, me so can get better on town. I hold on, no. I'm a Michigan, I'm a girl on town. Momeru, oh, good, she's a gun tag. Pow. Wanna suit up, good to it, oh, many, many daughters, and I can. No, not a sec, I can. What a moon star. Yes. Moon start. Cookie Mister, come on, Eddie Waba. Cho Young is a saga to lay. Hey, Mister Sand, Cookie Mutsu, no town, I don't know. No, I'm a shigan, no, damn it, who does it all? Jen, I do got a Jamayo Joe. Two eyes. Yes. Yes! Ah! I forgot about the harmonies! Yes! Father! Ah! Come on, Dodie's mother! Yeah! Okay, so the next track is Friday Night, and I actually haven't heard this song in a really long time. I heard One Centimeter Taller Than You for like the first time um, in a while the other day. I haven't heard this song in a long time. Featuring. I don't know who that is. Because I can't read Hangul. I don't know who who's featured, but he has a really nice voice. So far, what I love the most about Mama Moo's um, featurings is that whenever they have a featuring, they'll give them like practically half or like a lot of the song. And it's like they're actually working together. And it's not just like. A typical featuring where like they're not really working together you know like they'll give like a small part to a person but in this one they all sing together throughout the whole song it's really nice I really like how they gave him half of the song and then they got the rest of it it's nice <laughs> Ooh. 
Hello, baby. I really like the vocals in this song. I think I underestimated this song. It's a lot better than I remember it. Yes, sir. Every time Moonbill comes on, I just bob my head and like get in a swag mood. I don't know why. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, Pasa. Yes. I thought there was a, a part where like there was a high note or something. I I think I was wrong though. Falling in love with you. Yes. I like this so much. I forgot about how much I like this song. So I actually am gonna pause for a minute and say that I forgot. It's been a while since I've heard all these songs, so I guess my opinion on the music will probably change. But, um, One Centimeter Taller Than You is still, like, a great track. It's not, like, an amazing track that I always want to put on repeat and stuff. But it's still a song that I go to a lot. Um, whenever I'm in, like, the mood to feel, like, hip-hop or whatever. Uh, Words Don't Come Easy is still my favorite song off the album, by far. Um, You're the Best is, um, really amazing. I really still do think that the song's really amazing. And when I say that I go to these songs all the time, I usually mean, like, I'll put them on, like, I'll put, like, a playlist of them on my YouTube or something. Like, have, like, a playlist of, like, the different songs and then just be like, hey, listen to it over and over again. Listen to, the, like, the playlist over and over again. That's what I'm gonna do with, like, my favorite K-pop songs. Just gonna find the audio, put them on a playlist on YouTube, and then listen to them over and over again. Unless I buy the album, then if I buy the album, I'm gonna listen to it off of the album. Because that's just respect. Um, whenever I listen to albums for the first time, I usually listen to, like, um, one of those YouTube full album things. And then I won't listen to it again until I get the album, because that's how it works. Unless I completely don't like the album then I probably won't buy it. Um, but, um, yeah, if I like at least, I, my requirement for an album is, is is if I like at least three songs on the album, I'll buy the album. But I probably won't listen to the songs off of the album if there's only three that I like. But if it's, like, under three, then I probably won't buy the album because it's, like, I only liked, I only liked freaking two out of the song out of like the bunches of songs that you provided me so yeah now that I have the Mama Moo album I'm probably whenever I want to listen to Melting I'll just go to my computer and listen to it off of my computer but um uh Friday night when I first heard it I thought it was like good I didn't really think it was like great or amazing but I think it moved up to um Amazing. I forgot how good the vocals were in that song. So I'm probably going to put it in my in, in a Mama Moo playlist that I'm going to make with all my favorite Mama Moo songs. I forgot about how good that was. And if I say a song is great, it means that I'll sometimes search it up and like listen to it. But I won't like put it in a playlist where I can listen to it over and over again. You know what I mean? And then a good song is like a song that I'll go to every once in a blue moon. Like, I like it, but it's not like a song that I think is excellent. Like, really amazing quality. Um, so yeah, the next track is, um, Hometown, I believe. It's been a while since I've heard this song, too. In my unboxing, I said it was an amazing song. I don't know how I'll feel about it now. My opinion might change, especially since my taste in music has been different lately. Oh, I still love it though. Oh my lord. Appreciation for Hwasa rapping. Yes, girl. My favorite. My, my, my favorite thing. I have yet to sing this song, see this song be performed at the musical from last year and this year. I still want a full fan cam of all of them singing in it. If y'all know a link to the um, H, 
to like a really good fan cam of hometown that isn't a focus of a girl please show me in the comments with a link because I want to see this perform I really do I like this song a lot TikTok. I like that part I never understood that part I like this part they're all like kind of singing together it's really nice Nice. My favorite. My, my, my favorite thing. I like how it fades out. Um, the next track is Emotion, which, um, by the way, my review for, um, Hometown is still, I still think it's an amazing song. It's one of those songs that I like to listen to because I really like chill, calm songs. Um, and that's just one of those songs where like you could listen to it all the time because it makes you calm down. It makes you breathe for a second if you've just been having a rough day. It's just one of those songs that I really like. The next song is Emotion. It's been forever since I've heard Emotion. Like, I thought it's been forever since I heard Friday Night. I think the last time I listened to Emotion... Even though I think I said in the other review that um, Emotion was a great song. I haven't listened to this ever since the third time I listened to the album. Which was like back before Memory came out. The album. So I'm really... I really am going to probably be surprised at what I hear because it's been forever. I'm trying to play a track. Sorry. Oops. I don't remember emotion being a ballad. I think this might be just. I don't remember exactly for sure, but I'm pretty sure emotion isn't the other ballad. I think it's I Miss You and Just. <coughs> From what I remember. Yeah. Dude, wait. Ooh. This beat, though. I forgot about this beat. Yes, honey vocals. Oh, shoot. What the frick? It's been forever since I've seen, I've heard this. What? Ooh. Wow. Oh, my lord. What the hell? high note. I love high notes. Oh my god. I forgot Solar did the belting right there. What the fuck? Solar. Oh. Okay, so emotion just ended. I forgot how good that song was. I think the first time that I heard it, I guess, um, I think the first time that I heard it to me, it had like I don't know why, but like an old school Ariana Grande feel. I don't know if that was just me, but I, 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 it's changed my opinion a lot now because the way that Ariana Grande used to sing, I don't think it used to be, um, I, I'm pretty sure that the way she used to sing, it didn't sound like that exactly. I think that would have been more of like a, um, I don't know which artist, but it gave me like the feel of Ariana Grande at the time. So I guess that's why I only, like, um, I only thought it was great, not amazing. But listening to it now, it's very different than when I remember it. And I would actually say that this is an amazing song, too. This whole album so far has had, like, five amazings in a row for me. That's a good album. And then, like, one great. And a, and a great is not a bad thing at all. Next track is I Miss You. 
This is the ballad of the century. <laughs> this is a ballad of the century, okay? I love this ballad so much. It's my fifth favorite Mama Moose song. Mainly because I don't put ballads up there with my favorites because of, um, I guess I'm not, I go to ballads whenever I want to feel sad. I don't go the, to them all the time to listen to them a lot. That's just me. I know a lot of people who are like that. They don't like to listen to ballads all the time unless they're feeling sad or like they want to just hear pretty voices. So yeah, it's not just me. And, um, let's get started. Ugh. The snaps, though. That that kills me. Right there, the snaps. Ugh. 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 I love this so much. Yes! Man. Yes. I recently listened to Wins um, anymore. I recently reacted to that. Her voice fits ballads so well. I don't even understand. Dude, I forgot about this vocal. Oh, Slade! Now, uh, uh, yes, girl. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> oh, my God, Mom, I love you. I love all of you. Why? Why? Oh, I forgot about this part. Wait. I've been slayed by the sun. No, 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 no. Uh, slayed. Um, my review on I Miss You is that it's my favorite ballad so far, and I am so. I'm so done with life. I almost cried again to that song. Why do I want to cry all the time to Mama Moo? Anyways, this next track is Funky Boy. I actually listened to this recently, um, because I was just, like, in the mood to have a funky song. And I can already tell you my opinion on it has changed. When I did the unboxing for Mama Moo, I said that this song was a great song. Like, I go to it sometimes, but I've been going to it all the time recently because it's such a good song. And I'm just probably going to jam out to this one, not even review the vocals or, like, fangirl too much. I'm just going to jam out because, like, listen. <sighs> I just love it! Ah! Lie to me, listen to me, and tell them down to me. Funky boy, a funky boy. I saw this fan cam for the musical too. Oh, they play the song. Oh my god. Okay, so I literally got done with Funky Boy. I jammed out to it so much that, um. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm gonna just cut it out because it's just me jamming out. So for the most part, the jamming out the Funky Boy is cut out because Funky Boy is that good of a song. This next song is Recipe. It's been a while since I've listened to Recipe. Um, I said that in my review, this would be a song that I would listen to, not review unboxing, but this would be a song that I would listen to all the time, but I actually haven't heard it in a long time. So let's get started. Ooh! It's got like that, um, it's got like a 40s feel. I'm, oh, hang on. Okay, guys, so sadly, the rest of this, um, album, re-listen, is it in, um, the file? It cut off at Recipe, and I don't know what happened, but I lost the clips that I had of the other, like, the rest of Recipe, and then... 10, 11, and 12, which is Catfight Just a Girl Crush. So, I'm just going to do a tiny little review of each song here. Um, Recipe was a really nice song. I forgot about how much I liked it. And I still think it's an amazing song that I would put on a playlist and listen to over and over again. Um, 
Can't Fight is a good song. It's probably like the only good song on here. And what I mean is, is like, it's like a song that you could listen to every once in a blue moon, but it's not like a song that is great where you will listen to it sometimes, or amazing where you'd put it on an album constantly and listen to it over and over again. You know, that's just my opinion on Catfight. I know there's a lot of people that really like it, but it's just not my favorite Mama Moose song in the world. Just is also a good song. Well, not it's not a good song. It's a great song. It's a really great ballad, but it's not as good as I Miss You, so I wouldn't put it on an album playlist, but I do like it. And then Girl Crush has always been amazing, okay? It's just got that vibe of, like, happy fun. So, overall, this album for me gets a 9 out of 10 because it's almost perfect, practically. There's only one song that I would consider not listening to, you know, all the time. Maybe once in a blue moon, but not all the time. And so, yeah. I really hope you liked my, um, re-listen to the album. I'm sorry it got cut off at emotion, at, um, not emotion, at recipe. I don't know what happened there, but uh, hey, you know what? It's okay. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this album reaction. I'm gonna go... And, um, I'm going to upload G-Friend's first album listen. I'm going to upload, um, I'm going to upload Brave Girl's first album listen. And then I'm going to upload my reactions to Wien's new solo, uh, collab, not solo, collab song with, um, Chunky. Um, and then I'm going to upload my reactions to the Mamamoo musical fan cams of like the solo performances because that's the ones that everyone wants to see a reaction to so i hope that you guys enjoyed and i'll see y'all later bye